Hey YouTube and FN True followers, JC Styles here, and the guessing is now over. The waiting is now over. I came home from work tonight and I saw my box from AJS Belts on my bed, so my two new replica belts are finally here. Uh, this first belt I got, um, I wanted it since its inception in 2007. I saw, I fell in love with it. The, the just the engraving and the, the detail and everything and just on everything alone it was definitely worth getting this belt and the other belt that I'll unveil later cost me roughly about 548 and some change give or take uh, with the shipping and everything I ordered this Monday I got it today they shipped out on Tuesday so a little less than f five uh, the four days basically uh, you include the day it's shipped and everything is about four days so let's get into unveiling the belt and the first belt is the TNA World Heavyweight Championship replica belt I got this belt like I said I've been wanting it since its inception in 2007 uh, just the detail on the belt is uh, phenomenal the pictures and videos on YouTube don't do it justice and I'll just take you through a brief little you know tutorial of the belt you have right here well I'll take it over here so you can get the light you got a little on the snap box I guess they would call it you have the TNA logo actually I should do it this way so you guys can actually see it just phenomenal you know this is this is simulated leather the mega deluxe um, they told me that it was actually real genuine leather it is not uh, like everything this like the NWA title it has the globe effect on the side plates the engraving now the mega deluxe really goes to show you like the engraving wise on the plates is four millimeter four millimeters thick so I'm guessing that the etching is at least two millimeters deep and you got the eagle down here and you have everything you have the wings and I heard a lot about these up here the wings actually tips of the wings actually breaking uh, hazard f5 says that um Due to constant bending and throwing over your shoulder, the the holes here will actually rip. So I'm not going to be manhandling handling this belt just because of the fact is that, like I said, I want to treat this belt with, with with respect. Like you know, T like if I was to hold it in the actual TNA wrestling company, you got the belts, the globe effect here. And I'm sorry if the lighting is a little bad. Just the camera is doesn't really produce really good, so I'm using my Kodak right now. So again, just the whole concept. And it's actually a mirror effect in the back. It's gold with the silver nickel back plating, which is pretty awesome. And it's just I love this belt so so much. I probably won't go to say I love this belt more than my second belt, which I'll unveil in just a little bit. I'll just give you guys a quick couple of seconds left. We'll flip it over. You know, snap box over here. The gold tip. I love the fact that they put TNA Wrestling gold tip on it. I didn't get a pro grade like I originally wanted. You got the screws here just because the fact is that... Um, over time, if the screws come loose with the with the backing, the soft leather backing, uh, even on uh, and when I decide to save up a couple of bucks to get this actually re-leathered, I don't think I'm actually going to get the strap uh, re-leathered with the backing, but I will get it re-leathered down the time, down the line, I should say, because uh, like I said, if a screw goes missing, you have to cut the whole backing off so you could actually get to the screws. So I'm not really one to want to do that but like I said again I will get the belt I will get it re -leathered. 
So we will go and flip this bad boy over just one more time. Give you guys one more look at my new TNA World Heavyweight Championship belt. And I will see you back in just a couple of seconds with the second replica belt. Stay hey tuned. Hey guys, this is a up close look at the TNA replica belt. It's leather strap. This is not, like I said earlier, this is not a real leather strap. This is a simulated leather. This is a Premier's belt. Um, it, like I said, though, it's not the real leather. It's, um, But I will get this re-leathered. As you guys can see... It's not really, it's not really, you know, flexible as they say it, it, it is. So, and as you can also tell right up here on the back, you see how it doesn't fold, you know? So, this will probably be, will be one of the straps that I actually get. Alright guys, here is a look at the second replica belt. Uh... This was a last minute decision because I really wanted the TNA World Heavyweight Championship belt and I saw that this belt was bundled with it so I decided to get it. Uh, I actually wa originally wanted the TNA X Division Championship replica belt but I didn't like the fact that the plates were too stiff. I didn't like the fact that there was no real curve to the belt and that the belt was used. You can't really buy that belt brand new anymore can only buy it second hand so yeah I decided not to get that one but here we are with the second replica belt I have a shirt covering it because I thought that the the bag it came with would have been a dead giveaway so here we go the NWA World Heavyweight Championship belt now the reason why I got this belt was because I was heavily into TNA in 2004, 2005, 2006 up until they went to that belt into er, mid-2007 so I got this belt, it was bundled with the TNA World Heavyweight Championship and let me just, you know, say uh, again, pictures and videos don't do this belt justice. This is actually a, I want to say, a real leather strap. Um, because you, as soon as I opened, as soon as I opened up the bag, the, 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 the belt bag, I could smell the leather. This belt was definitely worth the buy. I'm glad that I got that belt and the TNA World Heavyweight belt. I wanted these, I wanted the TNA World Heavyweight belt last year when I got the WWE World Heavyweight Championship so I'm kinda glad that I got this belt instead um, I'm glad I got these two belts like I said Brian bought my World Heavyweight Championship at a nice price so I was able to put my taxes and that money together to get those two belts so getting rid of one belt selling one belt to get two belts I think is a uh, is a steal and let's go close into depth you have right there you have the, the nice snap box. Well, they don't really have a snap box, actually, I should say. So, but you have Canada, Australia, USA on the main plate. Now, you can actually feel the engraving on the flags themselves, too. So, you got the World Heavyweight Champion Wrestling. And just to let you guys know, you see the dome effect on the thing. I love that. That is pretty damn sweet. Over here, you have Mexico in Japan. In the grommets in between, I like that grommet. And they kind of use that same effect on the TNA World Belt. And... You know, it's just phenomenal. And look at look at the look at it. It 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 goes. It stays. You know, I think there might be cardboard in here. I'm not sure, but if there is, you can't even tell. So 
the engraving again. This is a Mega Deluxe. This belt weighs approximately 10 pounds, I believe. And you can see the engraving right there. And it's just, oof, guys, it's just, I can still smell the leather, and it is fantastic. It's sweet. So, yeah. see the bubbling effect? I think that's why I think it's real leather. So let's take it over to the other camera so we can see the, the quality. Right, this is an up-close look at the strap. Okay, right here. Look at that. That bends more than the TNA one does. You can see the flexibility. The back strap sucks right to the back. Look at that. Sucks right to the back. Like I said, guys, this belt, videos, pictures don't do it justice. It's fantastic. I love this belt. I'm glad that I got this belt over the TNA X Division Championship. So, yeah. <laughs> All right. This is the video that I was talk. Part of the video I was talking about. I'm gonna give a couple of quick shout outs. The links of these uh, channels will be down in the description box. Also, the reason why I got this belt was just a long list of champions who held the, the NWA title. And I'll just you know run through them real quick. You had guys like Ric Flair, Lou Thez, Harley Race, Dan Severn, Dory Funk, Gene Kaniski. Uh, you have Jeff Jarrett, Pat O'Connor, Jack Briscoe, Buddy Rogers, Terry Funk, Christian, Whipper Billy Watson. You had Sting back in 1990, AJ Styles, Steve Carino, Barry Windham, Mashara. Masahiro Chono, Ron Killings, Dusty Rhodes, Raven, Ron Garvin, Abyss, you know, just the list of champions that, you know, that really cemented in the NWA history of the belt. And you know what, guys, you see this? I'm not even holding the belt, and it's sticking to my body. That goes to show you how detailed, how good of a job they did on the leather. Uh, so here we go with the with the the shout outs. Uh, only a couple people actually guessed one belt. Uh, a lot of people, you know, only a couple people. Wasn't a lot. This video only started. But again, guys, I thank you for the guessing. I thank you for the suggestions on other videos. Shout outs go to Rick Skins twenty four, Snap Joe, and Ultimate Camille or Camille. Uh, those guys actually guessed one of the two belts. Uh, check those YouTube channels out. Also, I'll be throwing out some channels in the box as well, just so that, you know, some people who at least got to guess that didn't guess right still get a little help from me and J Brian Crazy from F and True Wrestling. So, guys, this has been my unboxing slash unveiling for the new two new replica belts, the TNA World Title and the NWA World Heavyweight Championship belt. Hope you enjoyed it. Please stay tuned for our future videos.